Good morning, probability and statistics. Today, we are going to talk about linear regression, section 9.2. We're looking at a graph where we have multiple points plotted, and we need to find the line that goes the best through those points. So this, prop, this slide is talking about residuals. The difference between the actual point and where that point would fall on the line is called D, which is your residual. Okay, so it's the observed Y value or the height of the actual point minus the predicted Y value, which would be the Y value of where that point would fall on the line. So this is a residual here. And then here we have another residual. So the difference between the height of the actual point and where that point would be on the line. And here's another residual here. If a point is above the line, the residual is positive. If your point falls below the line, then the residual would be negative. And if a point is on the line, the residual is zero. I should say residual. A regression line, also called the line of best fit, is the line for which the sum of the squares of the residuals is a minimum. I'm going to show you guys how to do this on the computer. So to get the, the equation of a regression line, we're going to enter data into the computer and we'll get y hat. y hat is the predicted y value when you substitute an x value into the equation. m is your slope, so rise over run. That's going to be the number in front of your x. And b represents your y intercept where your graph crosses the y-axis, or what does y equal when x is zero? Okay, so for this example, we wanna find the equation of the regression line, and we're given five points. Okay, so I've got an x here of one that goes with a y of negative three. This x is two, y is negative two. x is three, y is zero. x is four, y is 4, x is 5, y is 10, because we've got five ordered pairs. Um, you can see that we calculated x bar, y bar, where x bar is the average of your x's. Okay, so if we were to add up these numbers and divide by the number of terms, which is 5, we would get 3. y bar is the average of the y's. So if you add up all of the y values and divide by the number of y values, which is 5, you would get negative 1 fifth. This point right here, the average of the x's and the average of the y's, is a special point because it will always lie on your regression line. Okay, so on the next slide, we plot those five points. Here's a point. Here's a point, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point. The red line is your regression line, or the line of best fit. The line that goes the best through those points. You can see we have x bar, y bar, 3, negative 1 fifth is a point that is on the red line. The red line is crossing your y-axis at negative 3.8. So this point right here is 0, negative 3.8, the y-intercept. Your slope is positive. Okay, and I can see that it's positive because as we're moving to the right, the graph is going up, positive 1.2. Okay, so that's just a review of lines on a graph. And I'm going to show you guys how to get that equation in a minute with a different example. Okay, new example. 
The following data represents the number of hours 12 different students watch television during the weekend and the scores of each student who took a test the following Monday. Part A, we're going to find the equation of the regression line. Part B, we're going to use the equation to find the expected test score for a student who watches nine hours of TV. Okay. So we've got 12 students or ordered pairs. This first student watched zero hours of television and they got a score of a 96. This student watched three hours of television, they got a score of a 73, 74. This student watched six hours of television, they got a score of a 58. If we were to put those 12 points on a graph, this is what it would look like, our scatter plot. And the red line is the, the line of the regression equation. Okay, so it's the line that goes the best through those points. And here is that equation. I'm going to get this equation by going to this website, or you can Google linear regression calculator. And it's going to bring you to this website, Linear Regression Calculator. And I pre-entered the X values here and the Y values here. And then I just scroll down and hit Calculate the Regression Equation. And it brings me to the screen where it gives me y hat, the predicted y value, is equal to our slope times x plus the y-intercept. Okay, it'll even make the scatter plot for you. It graphs the line, so you can see that we have a y-intercept at 93.97. Our slope is clearly negative, because as we're moving from left to right, the line is going down. And again, here it shows you the regression line equation. If you scroll down, it gives you a lot more information. Um, but for purposes of this class, this is what we need right here, the regression line equation. So we're continuing this example, and we're going to use our regression line equation to predict a test score for a student who watches nine hours of TV. Okay, so X's represent the hours, and the Y hat is the predicted test score. So we know our X is nine, and I'm going to substitute that here. Okay, so we're putting in, instead of X, we're putting in nine, and then you would multiply and add to get a predicted test score of a 57.34. A student who watches nine hours of TV over the weekend can expect to receive about a 57.34 on Monday's test. Okay, so all we did was substitute nine for X and solve for Y hat. One thing to note is that if the x value that you're trying to substitute into the equation is outside of the range of the original data, then it's not meaningful to predict a y value. So for our example that we just had, our x's ranged from 0 hours of television to 10 hours of television. So we couldn't predict a test score for a student who watched 12 hours of TV because 12 is outside of that range of 10 sorry, zero to 10. So we don't know if the pattern continues outside of the range that we use to create the equation. You can only substitute X's from zero to 10. And that's it. So you guys have a math Excel assignment. 
Um, email me if you have any questions. I hope everyone's doing great and I miss you.